Okay, so today we are checking out the Newbie Drone Hummingbird version 3 Express LRS Edition. And this is my first Newbie Drone and I'm quite excited. In this video, I will walk you through the entire setup process from connecting this to the radio and to the goggles and giving you my first flight impression. If you are already an experienced pilot and just wanted to see how the flight footage looks like, feel free to skip ahead to the timestamps in the description. Let's get started. So we're going to start by setting up the linkage between the drone and the radio. First, it's important to know that the Hummingbird V3 comes with an SPI-based EOLRS receiver, which means the EOLRS receiver is integrated into the flight controller PCB board. This setup changes how firmware updates and bindings are managed. They are now controlled through Betaflight software instead of the EOLRS receiver itself. So make sure you have your Betaflight software installed the links are going to be just down below for you to download. Before we actually jump into that, I also wanted to mention that basically for Express LR's binding, there is an important thing that you need to be aware of, which is you are going to have the same firmware. Express LR's firmware 2.x is only going to bind with 2.x, 3.x is only going to bind with 3.x. And with the SPI based EOLRS receiver, when your beta flight version is 4.4 or above, that means your Express LR's uh, receiver edition is going to be 3.x by default. If it's below 4.4, as it is 4.3 or 4.2, your EOLRS receiver from your version is going to be 2.x. So the Hummingbird V3 came with a beta flight version 4.4, which means the Express LRS edition is now 3.x, which also means that our radio will also be required to, to be on Express LRS 3.x in order for them to bind. And by this era, everything shipping now should be already at 3.x already so no need to worry all right so to bind this newbie drone hummingbird to your eolas radio there is going to be three main methods so the first one is ultra easy all you need to do is you just have to plug in your battery and then hit the little go button right here and this is going to basically put your newbie drone into binding mode and if your radio is, as I mentioned previously, set up correctly as Express LS 3.x already, all you need to do is come here. And of course, you have to have an HTX radio in order to do the same steps. So you're going to go into the system. You're going to go to Express LRS. And you are going to make sure that your packet rate is set as 500 because this one is an SPI based receiver. And then you're just going to hit the bind button right here. Just press it and they should automatically bind together. And if also your radio is set up by the default manufacturer default, all the switches should work directly. You don't have to set up anything. So if that's the case, this is going to be your arm switch and this is going to be your mode switch. So very simple. All right. If you are the one that just wanted to get in this guy, this should have resolved your problem already. But if you are a little bit more curious and like to know a little bit more for future proof reference, here are the setups for number three and third. For the other two binding methods, we will have to come to our computer and basically you're going to have to plug it in to your PC using a USB, a micro USB cable. So after you plug it in, we're going to switch our view to our computer and you're going to go into the Betafly software. And once you have connected to the Betafly software, you're just going to come here and hit connect and you're going to go directly to the receiver tab. If you're on firmware 4.4.0, basically that means you're on Express LRS 3.x. If your radio is also on 3.x, you can just also hit the bind receiver button here to activate the receiver to go into binding mode and hit the bind receiver button on your radio and that's going to be an option for you to bind the third option is the more advanced option which is called the express uh, which is called the binding phrase method so a brief guide as of how binding phrase works is you're basically going to set up a series of code like 654321 on your receiver and also on your radio as long these both have the same code as long as you power it on, they're just going to bind automatically. So this is the option that we're going to be aiming for. So what we're going to do right here is we're just going to type in as I already did, but let me do it again, 654321. This is going to be my binding phrase for the quad. And also you have to set up this binding phrase to your radio. If you wanted to know how to set up a binding phrase to your radio, there is going to be a link below with a step-by-step -step detailed tutorial as of how to do so. After this has been done, let's just hit save and reboot. 
All right, so with the quad continue to plug in, I want you to bring out your radio this time. So we're basically going to go into the beta flight system just to make sure we have set up everything to make sure that it's okay to fly. So setting up a newbie drone is pretty easy because they generally have set up everything for you already. And all you have to do is just to, yeah, just basically make sure your arm switch, your mode switch, whatever, whatsoever is on the correct port. And it's basically doing this correct thing that you wanted it to do. So the first thing after we set up a binding phrase, we're just going to go to the receiver tab and we're just going to test to see if our stick inputs are being read it. You can see that it is showing that our stick inputs are reflecting on the screen as well. This is an indication that it has been bounded successfully. As for the another tab I want you to go, is going to go to the modes tab. So the modes tab, we're basically going to make sure our other switches, let me flip this around so you can see better. So this one, SF switch, is going to be my arm switch. Basically, it's going to be aux one. This is going to be modes. This is going to be my mode switch, which is going to be aux two. So by theory, when you flip your aux one switch, it theoretically should go on the top like that. So for the angle mode, let me see, why is it not like, okay, so the default should be here. So I have to flip it in order to activate it. So right now you can see on the bottom, it's at angle mode. And if I flip it in the middle, it's in horizon mode. I'll flip it on the top, this goes to acro. All right, so let me disable everything back to its original position. And another option is going to be your flip over crash. And my aux three, I believe it's going to be this one, if I remember correctly. Aux3, no, actually, Aux3 is this one. So I've set up my Aux3 right here. So Aux3, you flip it. This is going to activate a uh, crash flip. So how to activate crash flip? Crash flip is basically you're going to activate Aux3 first, and then you're going to arm your quad. That's how you uh, basically activate your crash flip. And once the crash flip have, has been activated, you can just roll, and it's going to flip back to the place that you want it to go. Okay. So that's about it. And the next step, let's go to our video transmitter. And we're just going to make sure that we set up our video transmitter to be on the correct channel and the correct band. So personally, I'm a, I use it. I use race band a lot and like to put it on channel one. And the power basically for this one, you only get to choose for 25 milliwatts. So yeah, that's about it. Once you're done, just hit save. So that's the bulk part of the setup. And the next step we're going to do is we're just going to look at the VTX. Just We're just going to bring out a, a PV monitor to make sure we have successfully set up the VTX so we can see the footage coming out from the camera. So the FPV monitor we're going to be using is going to be the Hawkeye. This is a little pilot, basically very convenient, very cheap, about $30. It's going to be like, basically it's going to function like your analog goggles. Of course, it's going to be not as good, but it's going to be good enough. If you just wanted to use something like this, it should be good for monitor purpose. So what we have to do is we are going to make sure, currently it's on B1, right? We have to make sure we switch it to R1. So you just press the plus sign, E1, F1, R1. Okay. So currently we are still not seeing any footage. Okay. Let me double check to see if our everything is set up correctly. Maybe we have to hit save. Okay. Guess the VTX is not going to be powered on by the USB cable itself. The another way you can do is you can basically just plug in the battery just to make sure that it works. Uh, okay, this is a little bit confusing. So let's go this way. Okay, so theory is true. So it's not going to be powered on by the USB C ca USB cable, but you can see that after you plug in the battery, it you can see the footage right here. Okay, so basically this is about the setup process for the bulk part. And next step, I was just going to give it a quick test flight to see how it performs. And I'm also going to share my, some of my first impression of this because this is also going to be my first time flying this new V-Drone quad. All right, let's get going. Okay, so we're at my front yard right now, and we're basically just going to be test flying the newbie drone Hummingbird version 3 and using the Nitro Nectar battery developed by, this is the newbie drone battery. So it's a PH 2.0 battery. So yeah, before BT 2.0 was there, this was the best that you can get. All right, so I'm pretty excited to test fly the newbie drone Hummingbird because this was also my first newbie drone whoop. And I've heard a lot of good things about it because of the tuning, that the tuning was actually pretty good. And I'm really thrilled to give it a try. All right, let's plug it in and let's give it a go. Okay, so we are going to just plug this in like that. 
Okay, so make sure you plug it in the right side, otherwise it's gonna fry your whole board, all right? Okay, once it's done, let's drop it there, okay. It's not on the screen, okay, here we go. Okay, so the footage you're seeing right now is coming out from a SkyZone 040 goggles, and this is basically the DVR. So, as I was saying earlier, that basically you can right now tell like immediately that this is definitely pre tuned to a point that is pretty good. Yeah, so the tuning definitely is here. So, I would say, yeah, if you wanted something that is just directly out of the box without much tuning, this is actually pretty good because. I, I, this is just completely stock. I didn't adjust anything and it's flying like pretty decent already. So for this one, uh, I think the camera seems to be pretty okay. You can see that most of the details are in there. But do know this is only 25 milliwatts, the VTX. Yeah, so yeah, I think they just keep it doing, doing this to keep the cost down. And also, yeah, just... Yeah, probably because like when the higher the higher meter watts you have on your VTX, the more heat that will generate, which cause the board that the board might die a little bit quicker. So I think this is something that they are considering at this price point. But for this thing, generally, I think it's still pretty good if you're just flying in front of your front yard or something. That if you're not just going to go a little bit farther, this is just going to be perfectly okay. So as for the performance, this one ah, first impression. Let's try to see if we can do some basic like freestyle maneuvers. So let's do a roll. Okay, so rolls, no problem. So if you wanted to do a flip, yeah, you can do. If you can do roll, you can do flip. All right, let's see if we can do split us. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely a little bit struggling it's because this one is on the heavier side. Okay. Okay, let's do it again. All right. Oh. Yeah, I can see that there's a prop wash right there. So yeah, so this one I would say is definitely not like tailored completely 100% for freestyle. But if you're doing racing or you just wanted to get want something to just to get you started, this is going to be perfect. Yeah, this is going to be like a very easy to set up beginner drone and that sort of thing. And yeah, and also like newbie drone is actually located in San Diego. So if you want something that is US based that comes with customer service, they they definitely can cover that. And also, like, I think they're the only one, probably the only one doing this in the OOP, in this, like, the OOP sector is if you break one of their cockroaches frame, like, the frame that this comes with, I think they come with a warranty that it's just completely for free. Like, you can get one for free. I'm not sure about the canopy, right, though. But also, like, forgot to mention, this one, it's only about, like, they priced this at about $89 US. So it's, like, probably the most budget-friendly OOP that you can get in the current market. And I believe they're also doing sale right now. So I don't know, like, they get, basically gave me a code to use down below. So if you wanted to buy it, I think you can get additional 10% or $10 off. I don't remember, like, which was the exact amount. But just do go check it out. And, yeah. So far, I'm liking this pretty much because yeah this just flies okay like if you just want something if you just want something that flies like perfectly out of the box this is definitely it yeah it's like the normally the, the, the quads you buy from China they generally don't come with like a pretty good tuning all right so we are better go landing uh oh uh oh all right so 2.9 okay let's drop it oh yep so we got about 3.3, 3, 3 minutes, yeah, it's 3, 3 minutes and 39 seconds. It's not too bad. All right, so I guess that's about it for the first impression flight. And if you have additional questions or you just would like to leave a comment or whatever you wanted to talk to me, just leave it down below and I will see you in the next video. Forget to mention, by the way, please subscribe to this channel so I can keep doing this. All right, this time, really goodbye. See you next time.